The TL-6 Nasser is a mid-range anti-ship missile developed in Iran and designed to be launched from surface ships. It has a maximum range of approximately 30 kilometers. The Nasser missile was first test-fired by the Iranian Armed Forces in November 2006 during military exercises in the Persian Gulf. Nasr 2 was first test-fired in December 2008 during military exercises in the Persian Gulf. The Nasr e Basar is an anti-ship cruise missile capable of engaging surface ships operating in stealth mode which may translate into no need for an active radar seeker in a number of certain scenarios. The Islamic Republic of Iran has produced this new missile under its arms development program started in 1992 as a response to the U.S.-led arms embargo. The Nasri Basar anti-ship missile was unveiled by Iran's Erna news agency in late August 2014. According to the local press reports, the Nasser-1 is initially intended for installation on small ships including fast attack craft and for coastal defense. Iranian military officials are quoted as saying the Nasser is also intended for helicopter launch. The Nasser-1 anti-ship missile appears to be identical to the Chinese C-704 anti-ship weapon, first shown at the 2006 Zhuhai Air Show. Mock-ups of several variants of the C-704 were displayed at the same venue in 2008. China National Precision Machinery Import and Export Corporation posted basic performance parameters for the weapon, along with imagery of a production batch of the missile. Tehran has long-standing links to Beijing with regard to tactical missile systems. It first acquired Chinese anti-ship weapons in the late 1980s. China, however, remains publicly reticent to discuss in any detail the nature of its tactical guided missile work with Iran. And, Chinese defense industry executives have been unwilling to discuss whether their anti-ship missile developments were intended for Iran. Another Mayak promoted anti-ship missile the C-701 is already in service with the Iranian military. Versions of this small anti-ship missile are part of the Iranian Khosr series of weapons. Yet to be determined is whether the C-704 was developed initially to meet a Chinese requirement or if the program was from the outset intended for Iran. There is no indication as yet, at least that the C-704 has entered service with the Chinese military. The extent to which Iran is actually producing the Nasser-1 is also a point of conjecture. Previous projects, such as the Khosr family, seem to have been at first kit built from major sub-assemblies. The major sub-systems would have been manufactured in China and then shipped to Iran for final assembly. Based on the Iranian imagery, the Nasr-1 is almost certainly the active radar-guided variant of the C-704. Brochure material lists the radar terminal acquisition performance as about 15 km, with the missile's maximum engagement range in the order of 35 km. Two further versions of C-704 were displayed at Zhuhai both designated C-704 KD. The KD designation may indicate an air-to-surface application. Infrared and TV guidance seeker options both bore the C704 KD designation. A family of medium-range electro-optically and infrared-guided air-to-surface missiles would provide a useful addition to the Air Force and Navy's air-launched weapons inventory. Mayak officials suggested in late 2008 that development of the C-704 KD was already at a stage where the system could be exported. The Nasr-1 designation indicates there may be further members of the Nasr family. The Nasr-2 name has also recently been used in local press reports associated with an anti-ship missile, and this could be another member of the weapon family. 
Footage of the NASA production line also showed an electro-optical seeker assembly on a test stand. The NASA nomenclature has previously been associated with the Hongdu JJTL-6, JJTL-2 missile, which is similar to the C-704, though its claimed range is 20 to 27 kilometers rather than 35, and its mid-body wingspan is narrower. The TL-10 also corresponds to a member of the Koser family, as well as the C-701, and one possibility is that the TL-6 could also be part of the overall NASA family. Development of the Hongdu weapons began in the latter half of the 1990s. The intended customer for a further Kmayak anti-ship missile revealed in 2008 has not been made public. C-705 is a small turbojet-powered cruise missile, intended as an anti-ship weapon. Whether this weapon is also on offer to Tehran is not known. On the other hand, Iran also has launched mass production of its new submarine-launched JAS cruise missile, the country's navy chief has said, adding that work on upgraded versions of the weapon is already in progress. JASC-2 is a new Iran missile developed from the C-704 Chinese missile. The new missile, called JASC-2, is only more than 10 feet long, with a range of only 19 miles. This is an Iranian copy of a Chinese missile called C-704, designed to be carried by the Iranian Gadar Midget submarine. The missile was first shown in action to the public in February 2019, during the massive belly at 97 naval drills. A Qatar-class submarine of the Iranian Navy for the first time during naval wargams fired an anti-ship cruise missile at hypothetical enemy targets in the southern waters of the country on 24 February 2019. On the third and last day of Belay at 97 drills, a light submarine fired the cruise missile which hit the target successfully. The range of the JASC-type munitions is expected to be improved substantially in the future, Kanzati said, revealing that a JASC-2 project was already underway. The expanded range of the missile will surely be a serious surprise for the enemy.